Good evening and welcome to Media Botch. Clive Palmer's insensitive comment has provided the media with ample opportunity to make women's rights somehow about one specific man's obesity. Fairfax's Tony Wright compared Clive Palmer to Monty Python's corpulent Mr. Creosote. Oh dear. The article includes a link to the video of Mr. Creosote exploding, presumably so, you know, you can go, <laughs> fat people, before getting into a serious bit about discrimination. Not to be outdone, the Daily Telegraph sought to educate their readers about paid parental leave, with a guide on how to spot a Parmasaurus, who can be identified by his several chins and prehensile stomach. Prehensile? <laughs> That's a big word for the Daily Telegraph. Elsewhere in the newspaper that could be mistaken for a comic book, Col Miss Miranda Devine has criticised feminists for being silent on this story, with an article declaring, Where's the handbag hit squad now? Handbag hit squad? Well done, Miranda. You've just made your argument against sexism by using the same sexist language the Liberal Party used to describe Labour women in politics. And if you want to completely lose your own moral high ground while criticising someone for being discriminatory, be sure to undermine yourself by following these steps. First, laugh at someone's physical appearance, then hire MS Paint as a journalist, and then write headlines using the same language that apparently offends you. Do that and you've lowered the intelligence of your audience so much they'll never know you're being a hypocrite. For The Roasts Media Botch, I'm Jazz Twemlow.